Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you about a mistake I made using Spanish. English tends to be a very straightforward language. For example, using the word hot. If you say, I'm hot, it generally implies that the weather is hot. But if you also believe that you are hot, like you look good, you could say, I'm hot, which means I look good. And I started speaking Spanish thinking that it worked the same way as English. Hot to me in Spanish was caliente. So whenever I would want to say I'm hot, I would say es muy caliente. But my body actually just tends to be very hot, which is why I'm always in shorts and a t-shirt. Even though it's autumn and it's getting cold over here and everyone is wearing jackets and long pants, I would start sweating if I did. So I always end up going outside looking like the stereotypical American, wearing t-shirts and shorts. It's great, I love it. But last week, I made a mistake using the word caliente. It was after school, all the kids were leaving, and I was talking to the school's principal. My principal happens to be a female. Not only was she there, the other assistant language teacher, who happens to be a female, was also there. So we're talking, and the principal asks me, aren't you cold? You're in a t-shirt and shorts. And I always say the same thing. I say, no, my body is really hot. Para mí es muy caliente. Here's where I made my mistake. I wanted to joke around and say that I'm hot, as in I look good. So I said, yo eres un chico muy caliente. And when I said this, both of their facial expressions changed from to. And they were asking me, Wait, what do you mean? Are you, are you sure you understand what you're saying? And I'm, I'm an idiot, so I'm trying to like play it off like, nah, I don't understand what I'm saying. Nah, of course I do. What do you mean? They kept asking me if I understood what I said, but I was like, nah. And eventually, the other assistant language teacher translated what I said into English. Yo eres un chico muy caliente is translated into, I'm very horny. And I didn't know what I was saying. So when I understood what I was saying, I was like, no, wait, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. They understood, but my principal thought it was a good idea to go around the school telling the other teachers about the mistake that I made. Did you hear about what Super Genki said? Super Genki just said that he's really, I, I can't even repeat it. It's like, it was so embarrassing. So YouTube, my recommendation to you is that if you're trying to say you're hot or it's hot in here, don't use the word caliente because I think caliente means heat. And if you say, yo eres un chico muy caliente, you would say, I'm a guy that's in heat. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25, 24 right now, and I got a lot of work to do. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.